So before I start, um, uh, Tarun had sent me the profiles of um, the participants. Um, but I just want to know how many of you know LaTeX and how many of you um, don't know LaTeX at all. So for that, I'm going to conduct an online quiz. So I'm sharing this uh, website in the chat box. Please go there and uh, fill your uh, answers. So click on this link, we'll be taken to a site and uh, please go there and click your choices. So we'll be able to see what are your So everybody can see <clears throat> as the inputs are coming, uh, the data is being shown on the screen. Uh, Parful, are you coordinating? You will be looking at the chat box and everything. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We both okay. are looking for it. Okay. How many are participants total now? Uh, sir, right now there are 70. And more of, and few of them are trying to join, join the application. How many are there? I didn't get it. 70. 70. Okay. Around 70 are there. And uh, you can see I have only response of 50 people till now. I'm waiting for everybody to give the response so that I can make uh, the talk meaningful for everybody. If you have a doubt or something, if the website is not clear to you or not accessible, please, uh, there is a chat box. I put the link, you just click the link and you will be taken there and you can submit. Only 21 people have responded till now out of 80 participants. Now, this is another way of testing whether you are logged in and not on the screen or are you just logged in and then gone for lunch. Request all the participants that please click the link which is shared in the chat box by uh, Sir uh, himself. It's very important thing. By and not only that, I think you say it is attendance. Then everybody will respond. <laughs> <laughs> I request again all the participants to please click on this link and uh, just fill it. You have to just mark it. Whether you understand LaTeX or Make a choice and then no, submit. That's well. all. Not a big question yes. paper. Your name is not coming to me at all. I don't know who is answering what. And this is another way of having a quiz in an online class. You can prepare your questions and give it it's online and get a response online. I'm using it to just to know. How well you learn it? At least 40 percent, 50 percent attendance should be there in a class. Otherwise, uh, <clears throat> I will feel a bit uh, unhappy that people are not interested in. Uh, they are logged in but not interested. Probably. Participants, I also just shared the same link in the chat box. Please click on that link and fill it up. It takes hardly two seconds or three seconds. Please do it. 
Yeah, it's two seconds if you are there. And going through the session. Okay. Number of participants is increasing. So the percentage of 50%, I said, is also increasing. But still, it is uh, 31. So seems a bit. Uh, Ratan Kumar Singh has raised a hand. What is it? Question? Ratan Kumar Singh, what is the question? So, Ratan Kumar, if you have any questions, then you can put the question in the chat box. Please. I saw a raised hand by Ratan Kumar, so I thought probably. Sir, I think probably by mistake. Okay. Testing whether everything is working or not. So if you want to go ahead, then please go ahead. Sir. Yeah, I just wanted to know so that I can mold my talk accordingly. But I think uh, yes, as far as uh, I can see that um, most of the participants uh, will need inputs in LaTeX. So that's okay. Only there are probably six participants saying that they know LaTeX very well and use it regularly. Okay. Right. So let us uh, go ahead. Okay. Right. So uh, having uh, known that most of the participants will need inputs in LaTeX. So let us go ahead. So what is LaTeX? So let me just get to know this uh, chap. LaTeX is a document preparation system designed to produce high quality typeset outputs. So instead of uh, using something like that you use in your Word, okay, where uh, for English and other things that is good, but for scientific documents, LaTeX uh, is better than Microsoft Word in many ways. So I will come to that slowly. Okay. So um, I'll give you examples what all one can do. Not all, but most of the things you can do. You can set up a question paper. So you see, uh, this is a question paper I had prepared in uh, 2018 for my course MA105. I can tell how much, <clears throat> what is the test, marks, time. And you see the mathematics, how beautifully it is formulated, formatted, right? So it looks quite nice. So this is one example of, uh, okay. You can also have a, a question paper, which is, uh, you can typeset it very easily. Only you have to uh, do a bit of initial work there's a multiple choice questions. So for example, there's a question and there are multiple choices. So one can, for MCQ questions, one can use it to. Okay. And so on. So that is another application of one illustration of using in attack. Let us go to, more. So this is something much longer descriptive kind of uh, question paper where you want to type set the questions. All, all are in mathematics. So like this. You can have a, a report written down with pictures. So here is a, some kind of a report written uh, with, you can include pictures in color, okay, in your document, right? Black and white color and many other types are possible. These are the very nice things you can do with LaTeX. Probably will not be able to reach that much, but so these are kind of documents uh, you can prepare. Okay, let us look at what, a research report. There is a research report. 
So somebody has written a report in uh, statistics, a regression table with multiple uh, groups of coefficients and so on, tables and such things. So I will show you like this kind of a table can be prepared using uh, LaTeX, okay? which is not that easy to prepare using uh, Microsoft Word. Okay. You can, uh, so some of you, if you are doing your PhD and still to submit your thesis, prepare your thesis, uh, so this is a PhD thesis. Uh, this is a topic, this is the author, submitted for what, address, uh, copyright, and uh, you can see that uh, it's uh, here the number of pages. You can see it is 62 pages long. Uh, this is all typeset in, uh, okay, all typeset in uh, later. Chapters wise, chapter one, chapter two, lemmas, theorems, and so on. So uh, I just wanted to give you a feeling for what LaTeX is, what you can do with it, okay? Some illustrations. So let us go ahead with it. First of all, LaTeX is, uh, I am calling it as LaTeX. So normally it is pronounced as L-A-Y tech. Lay, lay. This is L-A-Y pronounced as LaTeX, okay? What is it? It is a markup language. You write something and mark it up saying that this is what you want to do in your document. So this is what is called a markup language. Okay. It is an extension of uh, something called a tech system, which was uh, uh, first uh, developed by Donald Kunt in uh, 70s. Later on, uh, so <clears throat> it was enhanced to what is called now LaTeX. Okay, which is used now everywhere, academia, for articles, thesis, dissertations, and books. You can format uh, documents, create, uh, this, this is, Donald Kunt was a mathematician actually. So it is not something that created by some professional for scientists, it is by scientists, for scientists. And there is a big community of uh, LaTeX followers which can help you in case you get uh, stuck at some point, okay? Uh, so basically to do this, you have to create a document and save it as document.tech like Microsoft Word. The documents are saved as doc files. These files are saved as uh, document.tech files. We'll slowly come to it. I'm just giving you an overall picture of what is uh, um, this document, which is prepared, then it is compiled using a compiler, which is also available. Uh, and that compiler, you don't have to do anything. You just say compile and the compiler does the job uh, backend and give you the suitable viewing, uh, of, uh, your output for suitable viewing or printing. Okay. It makes beautiful documents. Mathematical symbols or equations are easily integrated. Even complex structures like footnotes, references, contents, bibliography, references, everything is done very nicely, logically, and very aesthetic uh, to look at. It is very powerful. You can extend it by adding more packages for compilation, for presentations, spreadsheets, and so on. And uh, uh, it is uh, free. That is the important thing. You don't have to spend anything uh, to get uh, this LaTeX and use it. And there is a large community of uh, people who are using it. Uh, now let us see what are the things involved. You have to decide whether you want to install LaTeX system for offline or online use. Whether you want to install it if you have a reliable internet, you may like to do it uh, online. If you don't have, and you want to work even without internet, then you can do it also. So that is called, you can install LaTeX offline use or online. So uh, the offline system uh, is free. Of course, online is also free, okay? And, uh, but it needs downloads and configurations. So, 
for uh, those who are interested in knowing how to install it offline this is the website so let me uh, copy it and uh, how do i copy yeah i am putting it in the chat box for those who would like to um, download it later on it will be in the chat box so you can always don't do it now because uh, it is not a that easy a process to download and install or offline use but this is a source where but actually internet you can find many uh, resources how to download and install or offline use okay so a shortcut is online process is much easier uh, if you have the internet but that is the constraint you have to have internet so that you can participate online so for this presentation today we will be using this online tools to uh, do something about latex so a latex document which i said normally has three parts there is something called preamble okay then there is document environment and then there are some special pages like bibliography and uh, so on so there are mainly three parts of uh, the document so i will slowly go through uh, some of them uh, preamble includes defining the type of document you wish to create for example i showed you you can create a exam paper you can create an article you can create a book a report phd thesis and many other things are possible uh, with uh, so that all go in what is called the preamble of a document this also includes special packages that may you have to use for some uh, kind of uh, add on routines that latex can call and uh, use them to pro process your document okay they are called packages add on packages they also go in the uh, preamble part then there is uh, the document part for example the preamble will look like document class what kind of document you want you want an article okay so you write here article how many the font size it, here is the font size 12 points use package color there is a package called color to produce color uh, in your documents use package graphics and so on this is for including graphics in your document and so on so we'll slowly come to that what i'm saying is that your preamble will look something like this these kind of things will come in the preamble okay oh. i think i clicked the wrong thing okay the document environment so that is a preamble the second part is the document which is going to contain the most of the things that you want to <laughs> type set and get an output so it starts with a command this is what is called a command begin document and when you are finish your document it will be end document and in between is what you want to type here your text whatever you want to do that is the main body of your um, of your uh, paper or article or book or whatever you want to create and it is actual content of your document it will include text tables it can include figures images equations anything else that you want to include so the everything goes in between the beginning is the begin document and document by the way latex <clears throat> all commands are very logical if you begin something you have to end something otherwise while compiling you will get some kind of error error it won't compile okay so everything is very logical i'll explain as i go ahead more about it you may also include the header information such as title subtitle author in this part begin document and document you can include who is the author who is what is the title of your uh, presentation or a book or something you what date you had it and then um, what is the abstract and so on many things are possible so probably we'll slowly uh, go through these kind of things then uh, uh, 
you may like to have abstracts, sections, paragraphs, appendices, and so on. All these things are possible. Okay. So this is what uh, a document will look like. Here I'm producing a sample before you. Okay. So it starts with a sample LaTeX file will look like document class, use packages, you include whatever packages you want to use. Uh, these things which have percentage sign in front, they are not part of the LaTeX document. They are just to include your own notes kind of a thing. Okay. So these are, these three are just to tell the person what you can do probably with it. Okay. It's a paper. Okay. With this number, there is a degree title. So this is the title of uh, the uh, file. Okay, introduction to basic set theory. Somebody wants to write an article on basic set theory. Document class is article. Okay, it says attempt any three questions. So it is a question paper being produced. So this is the preamble part. So from here to here is the preamble part of the LaTeX document. Document class, what kind of document it is and various other things, title and everything else. Then comes begin document and end document. So begin document, end document, and everything else comes in between. Your, okay? So we'll see how these things are compiled later on. So this is basically your tech document will look like this. Okay? This is a sample tech document. Okay. Okay. So in your document, in you write your document in plain text, okay, with commands that describe its structure and meaning. Okay. For example, input in your tech document could be the rain in Spain falls. This is ordinary tech. Okay, as you write in English. Okay. When you use the command emph, emphasize, okay, and in bracket opening bracket and the closing bracket in between these two brackets for this command, what do you want to emphasize? So you have to put that in your brackets, mainly on the plane. Again, this is text. So this, these two parts are text and this is the uh, command called emphasize shortened as slash EMPH. That is what the command is in bracket mainly. So when you compile, this is what you will get on the right hand side. So your output will look like the rain in Spain falls. This word mainly will not be as it is. It will be emphasized. It will be italics on the plane. So input, here is the input. Go to the compiler, compile, and then output. How do we do the compiling and all? We'll come to that slowly. But I'm just giving you what you input and how do you input. You use a command emphasize and gives you mainly. For example, here is the input, begin itemize, and there is end itemize. As I said, everything that starts has to end. Otherwise, there will be a problem in uh, compiling. So you write begin itemize, okay, end itemize. So what do you want to do in your, you think you want to prepare a list of items, okay? So you say begin itemize, end itemize. What are the items you want to list? So you write slash item, that is a command, slash item, what you want to write, okay? The item that is T. So when you like similarly, second item is milk, so third item is biscuits, so all these are itemized. They're all put as slash item, these are commands, okay? These are input commands. If you include this part in your LaTeX document and compile, what you will get is this. It will become as dot T, item T, item milk, item biscuit. Okay. Uh, at this stage, I just want to ask, am I going very fast? I am going very slow. Um, if anybody has a question or a doubt to ask till now what I have done, so please ask. Somebody has a question or a doubt or something to ask or a suggestion, please unmute your, unmute your mic and say something if you want to, okay?
if it is okay then you say it is okay jayesh are you there jayesh jayesh narayan bhanu hello jayesh are you there yes yeah, sir yeah do you think it's going okay hello hello ha ha sir theek chal raha hai ha awaaz thodi cut ke aa rahi hai ha ji sir good morning sir good morning waisa theek chal raha hai speed zyada to nahi hai ji मेरे पढ़ाने की स्पीड ज्यादा तो नहीं है अभी नहीं नहीं बिल्कुल बहुत अच्छी स्पीड है सर आपकी अच्छा बहुत बहुत है बहुत ही आराम से पढ़ा रहे हैं बहुत बढ़िया है ठीक है ठीक सो आई गो हेड तो विद दिस इनपुट फ्रॉम जयेश यू कैन म्यूट योर माइक नाउ सो लेट एस गो हेड सो दिस इज हाउ यू प्रिपेयर योर आइटम थिंग्स इन लेट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू इंक्लूड ए पिक्चर इन योर document the input command is include graphics this is the name itself is very uh, uh, intuitive it says include what do you want to include graphics you want to include some picture some graphics okay and what is that graphics uh, it is a children that is a picture and this picture children this is a picture and picture in a jpg format or png format the pictures that i am in, we are going to include should be there should be a picture called children dot jpg or children dot png okay these are two uh, picture formats i should have that picture in the file where i am going to compile so that when the latex compiles that picture compiles that document it's able to see get hold of that picture and put it for your document so the pictures everything else that you want to include should be in the same file where your latex file is there where you want to compile so that the latex can look for it and take it from there if it is not there it will give you an error i can't find that file okay when you compile it will give you a error so there will be i will see what is that how error comes and so for include graphics including pictures for example i had put this picture of children dot jpg jpeg picture in my folder where i am compiling this so this has given me this output so this input gives me this output so you can include pictures that to in the color format now input for mathematical things okay so i just want to show you so you can start with begin equation mathematical things okay so what i am saying begin equation i am writing an equation and ending it end equation so begin equation end equation so any command that starts any uh, environment we call call it as environment begin equation end equation is an environment okay that uh, should start with a command begin end with a command end okay and what i want to write i want to write sin square alpha plus cos square alpha equal to 1 i want to write that equation if you remember mathematical equation should have equality sign okay in between if there is no equality then it is not an equation it is expression only so then it is only an expression and then it is not an equation okay so be careful when you are using equation it should be for something with equality sign otherwise it is this command is not meaningful you can do it but then it will not be a equation it will be some other command and what is the output you'll get when you give this input what it is saying is telling latex take sin function right slash sin this is upper to okay hat in your keyboard on the, the digit 6 and you shift then you get a upper hat and two so this will produce sin square alpha this is alpha is greek letters are again given uh, commands slash alpha means so this will be sin square alpha plus cos again there is a command cos okay now you see here i have not put hat here at cos okay i have put hat at alpha so what it will do it will raise the power of not cos but of alpha so here it was sin alpha power 2 hat 2 okay so here is the outcome of this when i compile this is what i 
I'll get sine square alpha plus cos of alpha square. If this I had put here, then I would have gotten cos square alpha, right? So mathematically, you may say that is another correct equation, but LaTeX doesn't know mathematics. LaTeX only is a compiling system for markup language. So whatever you enter, whether a right equation or a wrong equation, it will type out that way. But the beauty is you have given the command upper to it has produced square, okay? Upper to it has produced square plus has come. So this command sign upper to alpha plus cos alpha upper two equal to one is produced in compiling as this, okay? And how nice it looks, it's beautifully compiled. The powers are nicely displayed and functions are nicely displayed. So this is the beauty of uh, LaTeX. So this is compiling a equation, okay? I just gave you an illustration. Let us go to the next one. So here is a minimal uh, kind of uh, document that we can compile. So document class, I should say in the preamble, I should say what kind of article I want. I want an article and a book or I want a report or a thesis and so on. So in this command, I'm saying document class is article. I'm not saying anything else, okay? Begin document and end document. So begin document, end document, that is my main document. I have just written it English uh, sentence. This is my first document. So when I compile this, I will get, this is my first document, okay? Nicely, it will reproduce the body of your tech document, mainly begin document, what is in between begin document and end document, right? So let us uh, go a step further. The commands, so as we would have observed here, the commands are starting with a backslash, like document class is a command. Begin document is a command. End document is a command. So these are the commands and each command, if there is a backslash, LaTeX will take it as a command. Okay, if there is a backslash before a word, LaTeX thinks it is a uh, command. So on your keyboard, there is a, a backslash just before uh, above uh, enter in the keyboard, there is a backslash. So all commands start with backslash, okay? So like document class. So document class is a word, okay? But to make it a command for later to understand that Take this document and prepare it in that document class in that category. I write slash document class. So that becomes a this becomes a command in okay. The argument of the document class is between two curly brackets. Okay. Document class, then you have to say what kind of a thing it is. You have to put a curly bracket in the front. Tell what is that uh, <clears throat> document about, what category it is, and put it. So for example, let us just go back. For example, a document class, there is a curly bracket, article, curly bracket closes. Again, once again, it is logical, right? You have document class, a command, the command is to do what? Whatever is to do should go between two curly brackets. So one curly bracket here, one curly bracket here. Begin document, opening curly bracket, closing curly bracket, okay? End document, begin curly bracket, end curly bracket, okay? So all command starts with backslash, okay? And the command, okay, goes inside the curly brackets to create the complete uh, command. There is this percentage sign is very rarely used in uh, LaTeX, but if you put percentage somewhere, Everything else which follows is ignored. If the percentage sign is forget everything that follows it. Starts a comment, that means we call it as commenting the document. When I write this in a document, everything else that follows is gone. Okay, is not compiled by, is ignored by the compiler. 
So be careful in using uh, percentage sign. <clears throat> so let us get started because I said we'll be doing it online. So let us get started. Um, I hope all of you have uh, received a document from me, a PDF document. Okay. And that said, how to go to uh, the website called Overleaf and uh, do a uh, uh, create a login for you. Once you do login, everything that you do will be saved in your under your login. Okay. So I hope everybody has done it. So that's why I sent it yesterday so that everybody is able to do it leisurely. So please sign up for a free Overleaf account if you have not already done it. So this is the uh, site. You should go and uh, log in there. So I'm putting it in the chat box. So www.overleap.com. So please go on this site and create your account if you have already not done it. So once you do it, you should open, you should open the following file. So let me put that also. In the chat box so that Next. So create an Overleaf account by going to this site. And then once you have created, just click on this link and something will happen. Some file will open for you. So please do it. Santosh Kumari, are you there? Santosh Kumari, you can unmute and say yes. Hello, Santosh Kumari, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, have you created your account? Yes, sir. Okay, good, that's good. Once you have created your account, please click the link. You can... Oh. You can mute your, mute your mic now. Once you have done it, please mute your mic. Avni Rastogi, please mute, mute your mic. Avni Rastogi, please mute. अपना माइक बंद कर दो आपकी आवाज आ रही है रसो एवरीबॉडी एल्स प्लीज म्यूट योर माइक ओके सो डज एवरीबॉडी हैव इन हिज और हर लैपटॉप दिस फाइल ओपन Do you have this file opened in what I am showing on my screen? Hello. Yes, sir. Screen is visible. Okay. So uh, this is the Overleaf site. When you once you click on that link that I gave you, it should you should see this page. Okay, not the left hand side because that is my login. But you will see a document. Okay, document class on the left side. Okay, this is, so we are going to work in Overleaf. So let me just uh, say something about it. What is Overleaf about? So probably once the document is open, let me uh, slightly go ahead and uh, show you something more. So this is the kind of thing you'll see. On the left-hand side, it is the file span. On the left-hand side, that is the file span. Uh, let me probably keep, 
uh, that also open uh, here. So you can see this side, here it is a file span, whatever files I have in my account, they're all showing here, okay? That is called the file span, okay? And this is the document. This is the body of the document that is appearing here, okay? And after compilation, what you will get is the compile text that will appear here. So, okay. And here is something to upload. If you want to upload some files from somewhere, there is a button to upload, create a new file and so on. Okay. This, this is a tech file on this side. And this is the compile thing. To compile, you have to click this green button called compile. Okay. And you can do other things. You can share this document, submit and other things. Let us not go into that. Let us uh, look at this uh, and go ahead on, uh, yes, on go ahead on the overleaf. Does everybody have this document? If somebody does not have, say no uh, in the chat box or say, no, sir, please help me. How do I get this? Because everything else is going to depend slowly upon working on our leaf. So I presume everybody has it. Somebody if doesn't have it, please say no, please help. Okay. If you want to ask for help, please ask for it. If you don't ask for it, then we'll go ahead. Okay. So everybody got this file. Now you see here, what is a preamble? This is a source file. This is a source file, okay? So in the source file, this is the document class. It is an article, okay? This thing, use package lipsum, that is, for, there is something commented. This package is to generate Latin sample paragraphs, which we are not using in this, but can be used. So we'll see later on how it can be used. So, but you see the use of uh, the percentage sign here. So here is a percentage sign. There are two percentage signs, but one is enough. But after that, whatever is written, LaTeX will ignore that. So preamble is document class article. Okay. Then there is a use package, which will not be using now for the time being. Begin document and end document. Here is the main uh, tech file. Begin document and document. And what we have written in the document is first document. This is a simple example with no extra parameters or packages, right? So this is what I want, this is my body of my uh, tech file. So the, these two things are commented. So we're not uh, taking those things. If I remove commented thing, then the LaTeX will take care of that also. So let us not do at present, okay? So this, what you have to do is, you have to compile, okay? Because you might have opened some other file and so let us click on recompile. So everybody click on recompile. So LaTeX is now compiling and giving you the output. So it is giving you the output, okay? Uh, you may not be able to read the output on my screen. This is the output, okay? But can you, uh, on your screen, you should be able to magnify probably and uh, see. Uh, sir, sorry, sorry to disturb you, yeah. but the share link is not working. Actually, participants are responding that the link is not working. Which link is not working? This link share? Yes, sir, shared link. No, no, this link is not. Don't trouble about this share link. Share li link was given to you to open this, okay? Don't do anything at present with this link. When the file is open, don't bother about the share link, okay? I'll tell you later on what is to be done with that. In, okay. the, chat box, in the chat box, I have put a link, how to come to this. You have to create an account, okay? So let me open the, the chat box again, okay? Uh, where is, uh, here is the chat. Can you, if you open your chat box, there is one link saying HTTP www.overleaf.com. That is a link you should click. 
that will take you to this website and you create your account. Yes. Once you have created an account, click on the second link to open this file. Yes, absolutely. Is everybody hey, by this? Has everybody opened this by now? Yes or no? I don't know how to get a response. Uh, sir, no, no, sir. Its second link is not working. Which second link? This file. Project, one? project. Yes, sir. File one. Project one. Okay. When you open the uh, open your uh, overleaf, what did you get? When you open Overleaf, what did you see? What do you see now? Don't forget mine. What do you see? Actually, sir, sorry for interrupting. Yep. Sir, both links are working. Participants, I just want to say one thing that you have to create your account first in Overleaf by using www.overleaf.com. And then after creating the account, you just Click on this. Sir is saying the same thing. Yeah, I gave two links. First was that is what I said yesterday in the written file that create a create an account on Overleaf. You should have done it by now. If you have not done it, do it now. It's very simple. It doesn't take long time. It is very easy to create the link, uh, create the login account for you. Because the advantage of login is it will save your uh, whatever files you are opening for you. So please create account in overleaf.com. Shall I probably tell you how to create or? No, sir, it's quite simple, sir. Yeah, it's quite simple. You yes. say, it says uh, sign up or create an uh, account. Click that, yes. ask you some email and password. That's all. Email. Yes, sir. Email and password. That's it. it doesn't ask you many things. It just asks you email login. For login, you will ask you the ID as log, uh, some email. And then uh, the password you want to choose of your choice. Once you do that, it opens an account for you. Once your account is open, come back and click on that link, second link that I've given you. You should be able to see this. If still somebody has an issue, please say in the chat box because I, I would like you to go ahead and uh, enjoy LaTeX typesetting. Sir, uh, yeah. uh, I have one request. Yeah. Uh, if possible, after this presentation, whenever you get the time, please provide this PPT to us so that we can share with the participants. For better understanding. Yeah, that, can, that is not an issue at all. Sharing a PPT, you see, creating and sharing is not a problem. You, one has to use it. Yes. That is the main problem. Because so much of uh, data, so much of uh, help is available on the internet about LaTeX that uh, you will go mad see, looking for. I, I will share my thing anyway. There's yes, no problem. Please go ahead. Please. Yeah. So let us go ahead. So everybody has this document, document class article, okay? And this is a simple document which says, uh, let me see, I don't know how to magnify that. F10 is the key with shortcut. Okay, anyway. So now what I want to do is, I want to add my name and uh, something else to this, okay? So I'm going to change this side. I'm going to add a few things, okay? So please try to, uh, so what I have document class, I have changed the document class now, okay? So do that in your uh, earlier file. In the document class, please add 12 points, 12 PT, okay? Comma, letter paper, comma, two-sided, and square bracket closes. So document class, okay? We start with a square bracket, ends with a square bracket. It tells additional things that you want to do, right? So it says 12 points. So in the document class, put a square bracket, add 12 point, 12 PT, 12 PT, comma, 
letter paper one word letter paper one word comma two sided two t w o s i d e two side and square bracket closes in latex whatever opens has to close so i started with a square bracket i had to close with a square bracket so this is some special properties of the document that i want to prepare and the document is going to be as a, before an article so is this line clear to everybody have you made this modification in your earlier document so you go on making the uh, additional document additional modifications i'll show you the modified thing you should look like this okay that use package is already there now add add title slash title slash title curly bracket open curly bracket close in between write whatever you want to give the name to your uh presentation or your article i have given the name as first document so this is going to produce a document for me called first document that is the title of my article then you can add who is the author you can add the name of the author author i have put my name as inder k rana okay i have put my name if you want to say that i want to thank somebody then you can put in between slash thanks whom you want to thank again in curly brackets so this curly bracket is for the thanks okay curly bracket slash thanks command is i want to thank i want later to understand i want to thank whom do i want to thank that goes in the curly bracket curly bracket fdp university of uh, engineering and management jaipur bracket closes so this command closes from here to jaipur closes and the second bracket is for the earlier one author it opened a bracket closing a bracket so I, everybody got on this if you want the date to appear you can put slash date what either you can enter the date as such or if you write slash today it will take today's date as the date and 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 document so this is the body this is the body of the document i also want to make it so this title i want to make it a title so i say command is slash make title everybody has done this much on the document side do you need anybody needs help then please say then i'll because i can't see chat box everyone okay the first line is this let me see if i can copy yes so the first line is, let me paste that is the first line okay then uh, second line is use package okay so you can put use package and then date this is for those who are not able to so one by one do this begin document and end document begin document and end document so this is the body of my document begin document and document and there is a command in between says make title so make the title of my paper so everybody has gotten this much tony have you gotten this is tony there hello tony no response nirbhay kumar hello nirbhay ji sir 
ये बना लिया इतना बना लिया डॉक्यूमेंट साइड में जी सर ओके गुड वेरी गुड वट वॉट मीनाक्षी सिंगल मीनाक्षी सिंगल बना लिया इतना क्या नहीं बनाया हेलो नो रिस्पॉन्स ओके सो लेट एस ज्यूम एवरीबडी एज डन इट सो वंस यू आर डन इट नाउ सी आई चेंज माई अर्लियर डॉक्यूमेंट now for document so latex does not know that you have changed it for latex to know you have to compile it so go to this green button please go to this green button okay and compile your change document so click recompile so click recompile okay i am going to click recompile so recompile it will recompile and give me the output and now you see what is output so now the my output has changed it has given a title first document or whatever title you had put okay it has given the name indar k rana and because there was a thanks so it has put a star here which has appeared in the footnote as star that i am thanking fdp university of Engineering and management depot. You you need not put. You don't want to put. Don't put it. Right. Whatever you don't want, you can delete. Okay. It has put today's date, September five, because I included here date today. Okay. Here we says the body of the text was. We have added a title, author, and date to our first LaTeX document. So the earlier document which we had. we have changed it now and made it look like this now with a document title with author with thank author with thanks date okay if you like you can see what changes will come if i uh, do something okay because it is so easy to uh, say that i don't want to include my thanks so then this thanks thing we just have to remove it or comment it because later on you may like to so what i do is i just enter and put a comment sign in front okay so then this thing will not be taken care of but author now the problem comes because there were two brackets here okay so one bracket is gone and is saying there is error it says something appear here says unclosed group you have author you have a curly bracket starting but no ending right and that ending thing has come here actually so let us remove this from this and prove include it here and now the error is gone i can recompile this now if i recompile because i have changed my document i should recompile if i recompile what will happen let us just see now the thanks thing is gone it is just in my name okay that's how you can add something and remove something till now anybody has a question to ask please ask anybody has a question to ask adding title adding author adding make title and date that is what we have done so let us see what i want to do next so this is what we have done okay let us go ahead and see so this is what we did right first document date title this is what we have done till now okay and we compiled it so we have added a title and so on All right so let us go ahead a bit let me give you some more input uh, before we do some practice the body of your uh, body of your paper or article or whatever you are doing document goes between begin document and end document the text is typed between between begin document and 
and document. Words are separated by one or more spaces. Okay? Even if you add an extra thing, that does not bother about it. Probably, uh, and then there is a, I think there's a good idea to go see the example. Uh, Hello, Avni. तुम्हारी बात सब लोग सुन रहे हैं अपना माइक बंद कर दो अवनी रसोगी प्लीज कीप योर माइक ओके सो यू सी इन दिस डॉक्यूमेंट सपोजिंग आई ऐड मोर स्पेस इन वी हैव आफ्टर वी हैव आई ऐड लॉट ऑफ स्पेस ओके सो व्हाट डू यू थिंक शुड हैपन I have added between the letters have and now extra spaces, but LaTeX is smart enough. Okay, it does not take those spaces at all. So let me recompile, and you'll see it appears as it is. It doesn't change. So if I recompile, there are no air. Um, we have now. We have now. There is only one space there, and if I recompile, it stays as uh, one space. Right? No extra space is added. Okay, so LaTeX does not add an extra space. That is one thing you should note. Spaces in the source file were collapsed into one. Another. Paragraphs are separated by one line or more blank lines. If you want to create a paragraph, what you should do? So let us go to that uh, document again, and uh, so here, okay, so this is one. i want to create a paragraph okay so i'll go to the next line but if we do that let us give a space and write this is write something this is a new paragraph okay between the first the source file i gave a space one line i missed line number 14 i missed and i wrote this is a new paragraph okay and let us put a full stop i'll change so let us recompile so change recompile and see what happens you see what has happened this is a new paragraph it has gone into the next thing okay it has broken here it is not continuation it is a next paragraph so this is how you create If you want to break a line, you have to just. I want to say after author, I want to break this line for some reason or the other. Put double slash backslash. Put backslash twice here. Okay. Put author. I want to break the line here. Okay. You can backslash twice and recompile. You see, it has break broken that line. Author started it as a new line and gone there. Okay, so this is only a sort of uh, uh, punctuation marks and so on in English that you do. And how do you do it in LaTeX? Anything till now? Any questions? If not, I'll go ahead. So here's some caution. very important percentage sign hash this this sign and and dollar these things have a special meaning in uh, latex they are not used in regular typing how do you type them if you want to in a document you want a percentage sign to appear then what we'll do is we put a back we put a backslash and include it for example uh, let me uh, give you example the same thing uh, not this one there is uh, this one okay i want to include uh, a dollar sign so let me enter break line enter now i want a dollar sign to appear if i put a dollar sign as it is it will not appear so backslash and a dollar okay if i do that 
and compile. Let us see what happens. Sorry, compile. So this sign has appeared. Okay, this sign has appeared. If I want something like slash dollar, okay, and enter uh, recompile. The dollar sign has appeared. If I want percentage to appear, so backslash the usual percentage, sorry, backslash percentage. Okay. Now it will act as if I want to print is telling LaTeX that I want to put this uh, symbol in my file. So I compile, recompile, the dollar sign has appeared here, you can see. Okay. So this is the special symbols which are used with backslash to if you want to make them appear in your document. Okay. So dollar, percentage, and, and hash. Okay. There are some other things, for example, uh, uh, emphasize, we have already seen that. You may get an error, something that undefined control sequence, that means there is something wrong with your thing. Okay, you recompile and so on. Whenever you get an error, don't panic. That is the advice. Errors do happen in compiling and we have to uh, correct the errors. Hint will be given to you. Indication will be given to you. What is the error? Okay. If there are multiple errors, you do it one by one. Okay. So the general, uh, okay. So here are some things which I want to show you. How do you type? So we'll do it one by one. Okay, how mathematics is typed in the text. Mathematics goes by the dollar sign. When you put a dollar sign and put something that mathematics take, uh, LaTeX takes it as a mathematics thing. Okay. So, uh, so this is the ordinary text, right? Let A and B be distinct positive integers and let C be equal to. This is what you, you will see if you type it in the Word, Microsoft Word, you will see. Let us change it. Let us change it to this. This A, I, I want to indicate that A is not the English word, English letter A, it is a mathematical symbol, right? So I'll put it in the dollar, opening dollar, closing dollar, opening dollar, closing dollar. Similarly for B, if I want to make it mathematical, opening dollar, closing dollar be distinct positive integers and let, now, now comes an equation. So equation has to go in a dollar sign, okay? You can put dollar C equals A minus B plus one, right? My equation ends, uh, expression ends and a dollar sign. So this is what I type set, okay? And what I will get on compiling is, you see, this is the compiled thing. Compare this with the English thing. Let A and B, this A and this A, they look different, right? So when you read this, you know that it is not the English letter A, it is mathematical symbol. Let A and B be distinct positive integers and C be equal to A minus B plus one, okay? So let us uh, do it in uh, our thing. So let us uh, take this and enter it in our LaTeX file, okay? So where is the LaTeX file? Here is the LaTeX file. So let me enter here. In the, you can go on adding to the same file. You don't have to do it again. So let me paste it. So I put an expression, let A be dollar $A and dollar $B. Opening dollar, closing dollar $A and opening dollar, closing dollar $B with distinct positive integers and let C be equal to this, okay? So I've changed this document. I need to recompile this. I need to recompile this. If you are not, I did copy paste, but if you like, you can type it. So type using your keyboard in the same file, let A dollar, A dollar close. So be careful, opening dollar, closing dollar. Opening dollar, closing dollar for B, distinct positive integers and let C be equal to this. Has everybody gotten changed your uh, LaTeX file to this? 
source file. If somebody needs help, please tell me that you need help in this file. So what I have done is I have, let me just enter it in the chat box, copy so that everybody can probably copy and paste if you can't type. So I have put this uh, in the chat box. If you like, you can copy from the chat box and put in the text source file. Once you're done this, let us recompile. So let us recompile and see what we get. So here is let A and B be distinct positive integers and C be equal to this. So that is what I wanted and that is what I got. Probably let me add some spaces so that I get it in a paragraph. Let me recompile it. Now it will show. So it is showing as a different path. Everybody got till now? Minakshi singla, single or singla? Minakshi, Minakshi single, are you there? Hello, Minakshi. Hello, Minakshi, you are there? No? Minakshi is not there. What about Dr. Jose? Hello, Dr. Jose, are you there? Can you hear me? Hello, Dr. Sir, Jose. Uh, Dr. Jose is available uh, showing in the participant list, I think, but okay, he's, no, he's not connected, I think. Okay. He's not right now. Okay, let us, I, I just want to know some participants whether they're sure that Okay, sir. Yeah. Amol, Amol Kapse, are you there? Hello, Amol. No response, Amol Kapse. Hello. Yes, sir. Amol Kapse is there. Uh, just message. Yes, but no mic. Okay. So just ask him, has he gotten it? Has it come up to this stage? Yes. Amol, Amol, Amol have you? Amol, Amol, please answer the question by chat box. Yes, answer in the chat box. Yes, up to here, you have done it. Yes, very good. So Amol has done it. So let us assume that everybody has done it. So this is the output you have gotten. You have entered a mathematical expression in your uh, document. Now I'm going to make a change in the, see wherever this, this line was there, dollar C, okay? Let me uh, enter it again with a different uh, way. So let me copy and enter again the same thing, copy paste. But now instead of $1, let me put $2, dollar C, dollar, dollar, and I close it with a dollar, dollar. Very systematic. Whatever begin should end. So what I have done is the earlier expression, which was dollar C equal A minus B plus one dollar. I have changed it to two dollar signs equal to A minus B plus one, two dollars, right? And let us see, compile and see what happens. Recompile, so I recompile. Now you see what has happened. Earlier one with $1 was here, let C be equal to this. With $2, what it has done? It has taken out that expression and centered it. So it has centered that expression as C, okay, equal to A minus B plus one. So sometimes you want to give, bring the attention of the reader to something, right? You want to display, this is called the displaying something. If you want to display something, mathematical thing, you put in double dollars. Everybody got up to here, double dollar, mathematics, single dollar, mathematics, 
double dollar. Okay. Shall we go ahead? If anybody has a question or a doubt to ask, please put it in the chat box. Otherwise, I am going ahead. Okay. Right. So let us. Uh, this is up to here. We have got it. Okay. Let us uh, come. So dollar signs are always used in pairs. Be careful, as I said. Starting dollar, mathematical thing you want to put, and the closing dollar. Okay. Later we will handle spacing automatically or ignore it. Yes. Greek letters and various mathematical symbols are superscript and subscripts are also possible. So let us. Uh, so I want everybody to enter this. In their chat, uh, in their file, okay, and see what copy. I am putting it in the chat box also for everybody. And I am putting in my so in the same file. I am going adding so that. Here I am adding something, right? I have added what is it? Dollar y equal to c. Here is a underscore c underscore two x upper two plus c lower score underscore. In your keyboard there is a lower score one x plus c underscore zero and close with dollar. Everybody got this much. Please enter this. I have also put this in the chat box. You can copy and paste if you like. But if you start writing yourself, you'll start getting used to it. So y dollar y equals c underscore two plus x upper score two plus c underscore one x plus c lower score zero dollar closing. So please, everybody, do that. Once you have done it, once you have done it, you compile. So recompile, and you see this is what you get. So this is what you get. Y equal to C. So let me show you bigger. Once you do this input, what will be the output after compiling? Will you will get is this C. Lower score two under. So this is called when you go upper. This is called superscript, right? And when you go below, this is called subscript. So C subscript two x upper script two. So that is x square. We read it as plus C lower one. Okay, so uh, subscript one. So in LaTeX, here is C lower. That has come out as C one. Plus, here is C lower score underscore zero, C lower score zero. So this is this input has been typeset as and compiled and it is given. So now you can typeset mathematical equations with underscript, subscript, and Superscript. So underscore in your keyboard, uh, underscore is there next to zero, okay. And uh, superscript is uh, shift six will give you upper. Okay? That is the key. So once you input that, this is the output you will get. Till now, everybody there. Shivam Chawan. Hello, Shivam. Shiva, sir, you got this, sir. Yes or no, please. Sir, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. You tell me. Did you put uh, this? Yes. Yes, sir. For sir, but uh, sir, uh, the uh, superscript and subscript always in the curly bracket, right? Not necessary. Okay. You like here C is. Lower two, this lower thing subscript is not in the bracket. 
So error will not come, sir. No, no, no. I, I, I just now show you that where I here. Here is my LaTeX thing. Okay. What? There is no in the bracket. Nothing in the bracket. It compiled nicely and gave you. Don't do extra work of putting that. That is not a command or something, right? So we have to put. Fine, sir. Okay. So let us go ahead. Here is a, a Greek letter called mu. Okay. So how do you do it? Greek letter mu. In type setting, it is slash mu. Then we'll understand. Later we'll understand. This is the Greek letter mu. A, E, E is the usual uh, uh, Euler's constant. E, upper. So this is the upper thing. Now, if you have more than one thing. I have so many things as upper, and I want to remain them same. Then I then I put them in the bracket. E upper bracket Q slash R T. That means I want in the output E raised to power Q divided by R T. If I don't put this bracket, then only Q will come. The first will come here. Remaining will come at the bottom, right? So with this input. The output will be this. You sir, will, yeah. sir, sorry for interrupting. Yes. Uh, here, uh, no need to use uh, slash fraction frac uh, command as well, right? Depends on what you want. I don't want to complicate in the beginning itself by introducing the command fraction, right? Okay. I just want to make it simple so that you get used to it and then slowly add more things to it. Actually, sir, uh, I. Always use in offline mode and uh, the latex. Uh, there, I think it's uh, compulsory to use that command. No, no, no. It's not compulsory at all. You try it next time. Okay, you okay. can try it now. So okay. let me just put this in the chat box so that everybody is at the same page. Okay. So here is the face. So put this and compile. You should see this. And now let me probably uh, go to that page and see. So let me let me come a bit below so that everything is visible. So let me uh, paste here. Okay. Let me put it in a double dollar so that things are slightly more visible. See, I put a single dollar. It says there is a problem with you. You should uh, align. So let me compile. So here is it. Mu equal to okay, my, uh, a raised to power q by r t. There is, I think, f ten is probably. Let me just see. No, I don't. Know. I can't magnify. Should be able to magnify, but I don't know how to do it. So it's okay. There is no magnifying. Okay. Anyway, so it is mu equal to. Now, what I want to tell you is, supposing this bracket, instead of after R T, I shift the bracket. I make the bracket after Q. And now compile and see what happens. You see now. Earlier, the bracket indicates that these things were together. Now, bracket is only after Q. That means it has taken only Q as the power. Remaining thing has divided by R T. So, bracket is used to combine things to say this is one thing. Okay, let us go ahead a bit more. Here is. What do you think will be the output of this? Dollar omega slash sum lower k equal one upper k equal to n omega lower k. Uh, Shweta, are you there? Shweta Patel. Shweta, Shweta. Yes, sir. This is Shweta, not Shweta. Okay. S W E T A. Shweta Patel. Yeah, Shweta okay. Patel. Okay. So. You tell me if I put this command, what do you think will be the output? Uh, 
slash omega will give you what? It will it will give the sum of uh, uh, a number in sum of omega lower k omega uh, index k from yeah. one to n. N. Lower yeah. K equal to one to n. Right. Mm. So if I want right. to type set this, this is what I do. This compile. I mm. omega equal to this. Okay. Well, let me put this command also so that uh, you can. Those who want can practice. So command is there. So put it. So let us also put it in my. Uh, sorry. Oh God. What is this? Something else open. So let me open this. And let us enter here. This and compile. So, because the font is small, you don't see this equality. Omega equals summation. The sigma sign has come. K one to n W K. Right. So I think probably let us uh, go a, a bit uh, further. So omega sum we have gotten. Okay, here is an exercise. I want everybody to try in your in your uh, over leaf on the pen in the LaTeX pen. I want this thing to appear when I compile. So please, please put the command suitably. So this is an exercise. I'll give you five minutes. I want this to appear when I compile. So please enter in the LaTeX file. Please enter this. And compile. You should, well, this is not what you should put in your LaTeX file. This is the output of the LaTeX file. This you should see on the right hand side when you have compiled it. What should go in the left hand side? So that this appears on the right hand side. That is the question. So put it and compile and see whether you get this output or not. So I want everybody to do it. As soon as somebody has done it. Please raise a, uh, I can't say raise a hand, I'm not in a class. Please uh, unmute your mic and uh, tell that you have done it. As soon as somebody does it, please unmute your mic and say that, sir, I have finished. So for to get this output, what should be the input in LaTeX? That is the question. Raghavendra, you have done it. Hello, Raghavendra Singh, have you done it? You put a message in the chat box saying okay. So what does okay mean? That means you have done it or you are doing it? Raghavendra Singh. Raghavendra 
Anybody else has done it? Has anybody else done it? At least those uh, eight people who said they know LaTeX and they are using it regularly, they should be able to say what they have done it. Yes. So, Shatabdi done it, right? Hello, Shatabdi. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I have done it. Can you put it in your chat box? What is the code they have put? LaTeX code? Uh, yes, sir. So that everybody can try and see whether they will also get it. So just copy paste what you have done it. One second. Yeah, take your time. Put and uh, put it in the chat box for everyone. Sir, I can see only you, uh, Tarun sir and Prakul sir. Hey, chat um, box, you can't see everybody. Okay. No. And you can put it in, uh, we will put to all the all the participants. Yeah, somebody has done it. I don't know who has done it. No, no, you have done it. No, I got it. Okay, so I will copy your thing and put it. Okay. I will copy your thing and put it. Shadabdi has done this. Okay. No, no, I give back to Shadabdi, I should say to everyone. So, paste everything. So, this is the LaTeX uh, code uh, she has put in the source file, and that is what gave the output. So, let me also try it. Let me put it in the source file and see whether I get the same thing or not. So, I put here paste. No error is showing. So, let us compile, recompile. Say if, yeah, here is the last line. If f omega is equal to omega, f omega is equal to omega minus e raised to power log w, then f derivative, right? f dash, f upper script, f dash is equal to this. So good. So it's correct. She has done it. And if you want to, I have already put in the chat box the code. If you want slightly bigger looking code. Okay, so let me show you. This is the code she had put. Why, why it was the code? If, if is English, so it has go as English as it is. Now mathematics starts up to this thing. So the mathematics, we should start with dollar F omega. There is a bracket, so F bracket, Greek letter omega bracket closes. So up to here, we have done it. Equality, equality, okay. Omega minus, so omega Greek minus E log. E log is a mathematical function, so slash log, okay. So E log of omega, E log omega, up to here is mathematics, dollar should close. Dollar opened here, dollar should close here. Then English, F dash W, F dash, F. This is just dash coming from uh, your keyboard, okay? When you have uh, under it, next to enter, there is a key which will give you dash, bracket omega. So uh, F dash omega is equal to one minus E slash E over, Omega and dollar again, dollar begins for this E upper FW. So E up superscript in bracket F omega because we, this all has to go together in bracket. Otherwise, uh, LaTeX will take only the first one as the upper thing equal to omega one, omega one in one, omega one bracket closes for the dollar, uh, dollar closes for the mathematics one in positive omega, again in dollar. So is that clear to everybody? What is the source code for this? How dollars are used? How lower script, how upper script are used? Okay. Anybody has a doubt till now, please ask. Anybody wants to ask a clarification? 
something to be repeated again, please ask so that uh, we can go ahead. Got it? Shall we go ahead? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So let me ask somebody. Shivam Chauhan, are you there? Shivam? Shivam Chauhan. Professor Tarun Sharma is going to mark you absent if you don't respond. Uh, sir, Shivam is moving actually, but I think he is not available. Yeah, yeah, that's, I am checking that only. Who yes, are you in and available or not available? Yes, Soram Chhabra, are you there? Soram Chhabra, are you there? No? Okay. I think we will go ahead instead of taking attendance for everybody. So this is okay. So let us go ahead a bit. Now comes to something called fractions, which are important. So I want to have a output like four divided by five, like fractions in mathematics, right? So for that, the command is slash frac for the fraction. Only frac is taken for the command slash frac. There are two brackets, okay, two parts. One is for numerator, bracket, numerator, whatever you numerator you want, bracket close. And then you have to put the second bracket opening, denominator closing. So for example, if you put dollar, because this is mathematics, dollar fraction, numerator four, denominator five, dollar close, you compile, this will give you the output four by five here. Yeah. That is output. Quite simple, logical, frac is the command. Numerator, two brackets, numerator, two brackets, denominator, compile. Let us go for a square root. Square root, if you put a square bracket and three, that will give you the cube root. If you don't put these brackets, then that will give you only the square root. If you want cube root, fourth root, fifth root, then that number has to come here. And then of what? So between two brackets, that thing has to come. So it will give you, for example, here it is, slash SKORT for square root. Square bracket three means you want the cube root of X. So square bra uh, curly bracket X will give you this out. Clear to everybody? Square root and fractions. So here is a exercise now. Type set the following. I want you to type set the following. The roots of a quadratic equation are given by x equals right the quadratic formula. I want that formula to appear here where a, b, and c are real numbers. So I want you to type set in your uh, overleaf or if you're doing on desktop, then on your uh, whatever editor you are using, on, online we are using uh, overleaf editor uh, for compiling. So please create the LaTeX source file for producing this output in your appropriate editor. If it's online or offline, whatever you're using. And online, I want this output to appear on the right side in the when I compile. So take five minutes. I'm waiting here. If you need help, you can ask me in the chat box. If you want to unmute, you can unmute also. So this is the exercise.
मूड बना दिया and as before once somebody has finished you can say that i have finished or if you need help then please say i need help Dr. Prafull Chabra has put it. This code in the chat box. You all can try, but write that English also. The complete thing, please add to your uh, Prafull. Please add the roots of quadratic equation are given by this thing where A, B, C are real numbers. The complete statement I want. So, Prafull had uh, sent his uh, input. Here is uh, sent by Tanya. You can put it in your uh, editor on uh, and compile. It should give you the roots of quadratic equation, and because this is small, I probably will like to put in double dollar. And recompile. Now the problem comes. Why the problem is coming? Because there is a three dollars. I had put by mistake three, so this is why the funny things were happening. Let me recompile and see what I get. I posted it completely. Okay, good. There is a problem here. There should be a double dollar here. Well, it takes three dollars. Okay. Anybody has a question to ask? Why was this uh, done this way? Sir, I have it. Yeah. Yes. Uh, sir, uh, you have asked to write this minus b plus minus square root of b square minus four root. But right. where minus sign is not appearing. It's not appearing or not visible. So here is the command. So this is a this is what you should put here is the command can you see it now yes sir yes sir. if you just put here minus or plus ordinary it will come it will be the pm plus minus slash 
plus minus it will give you plus and below it minus okay sir thank you yeah now slowly you will get used to these commands because this is the only uh, difficult part of latex that you have to look for the commands and uh, remember them so here are some other commands for mathematical symbols okay for example if you want to say uh, x is an element of a set so you put slash in it gives you belongs to cap intersection union superset okay this is superset subset this is for summation slash sum for summation for product slash almost all the names of the commands are very intuitively clear slash int for integral sign slash geq greater or equal so greater than or equal less than or equal slash leq l dots dots being put dot 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 c dots is center dots slightly above dot 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 empty set limit used in calculus log function sin cos tan secant cosecant cot so almost all the functions are also covered so basic commands are covered in this you don't have to remember them slowly one by one uh, once you require you see what it is and next time you use it you will get it okay let me just uh, there are about 10 15 minutes i want you to give exercise begin itemize i have already used it it will give you the items begin itemize and itemize in between the items so it will give you the items so there here will be dot 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 itemizing okay bullets if you want uh, numbers to appear then you have to use begin enumerate enumerate is counting begin counting and counting begin enumerate and enumerate item 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 it will give you 1 2 3 3 that is enumeration so two ways of listing one by uh, itemize other is by enumeration omega equal to if i do this sum okay a single dollar This is single dollar. This is the double dollar. You see the difference also comes in the single dollar. The k equal to one to n goes in front of the sign. Here it goes below and above. So see what you want accordingly. You should do it. There is something called equation array in mathematics that we require. That means there are set of equations, and we want them to be aligned properly. For example, x. I want to this x equal to five x plus six z. Y bigger than I want this bigger than to come below equality, and the right hand side of simplification something comes in this side. So for this, one uses the command called begin equation, and then array. Array. So equation array is called command. Okay, and equation array, and to say where should you want the alignment to come. this and is used so that's why and if you want to print has to be backslash otherwise uh, latex will take it as alignment tab we call it as alignment tab x equality alignment tab alignment tab equality alignment tab bigger than alignment tab so it will align these two nicely if you don't do anything that means it will start with this alignment so this will start and because there are more equations it will number the equation 1 equation 2 equation 3 and so on and if you don't want the numbers then you say no number okay so this is about uh, equations anybody has a question to ask now before i give you the final exercise
anybody has a doubt clarification to ask please ask before i give you the exercise plus minus sign is already given okay so i want you to type set the following i had two exercises but i think there is not enough time only one may be possible so here is the exercise which i sent you you can start that if you like this was like as if you are typing a complete paper paper has a title it has an author it has an abstract it has an introduction it has some sections section 2 is differential calculus topics there is a theorem inside it and there is a reference to something and then there is a picture of a graph there is a table inserted and here is a reference bibliography so is a two page document which completes almost everything that you want to do in a research paper in mathematics so if possible if you want to type set it please type set it so uh, whatever remaining time i don't know how much time we have got 5 minutes are not enough for this but at least try to do as much as possible to type set this and as and when you find some difficulty please ask me Sir, uh, yeah. There, there is one question in chat box from Shatabdi ma'am. Yes. Can I ask? Yeah, yeah. Please go ahead. Uh, how can I write equations easily in DataX? Is there any graphical tool to get DataX code for equations and symbols? Uh, there is no magic way of doing it, but there are some offline editors which are useful. so shall i show some uh, offline thing okay let me show you what i use offline which is uh, useful uh, where is that exercise mean basically exercise okay so okay uh let me uh can everybody see my screen yes. so you can take that as an exercise for home okay um where is i'm just trying to locate something which i want to show okay so this is an editor called win edit okay i think i in my write up i have already sent you a link to how to download the win edit okay so this is when edit uh, a editor see like on the left side we are doing in overleaf this is useful even for overleaf uh, for online also so you can uh, file okay you can just open a new file so this is a new one tag for a new one so it is like new so i opened a new one here okay so why to open two let me just close one and open one okay now here you can do your latex type setting okay so what do you want to do for example you want to introduce uh, title so you can write slash slash title calculus okay now uh, what was the question shatabdi asked hello 
Somebody asked a question. What was the question, Shatabli? Yes. Sir, suppose like I have an equation, like you said, mu is equal to something. Yeah. So yeah. I want to get the latex code for that particular symbol, mu or it omega. It, it won't give you a latex code for that. Then there is no nothing that can give you a latex code. But you can help is available in this editor. For example, bash symbols, you don't know the command. Can you see that uh, my pointer? Yes, sir. Yeah. Eh? So summation, product, integral, all these are available. For example, if I click at sum, slash sum appears. If I don't remember what is the uh, command, so I click here and sum. Okay. But now I know sum is from something to something. Okay. Sum of something, say uh, capital A, lower I. So this is uh, don't give, doesn't give you full help. It gives you some help at least. And you want some from lower to some from lower, say i equal one. So upper, you want upper. Then i equal lower is one, upper is n. AI. So this is a command which I can compile. But the point is because I have a, a LaTeX thing installed on my thing, I can compile. But if you don't have installed in your thing, you will not be able to compile it. But at least what you can do is I can check whether there is any mistake in this or not by highlight it and then go to search and check whether Dell miters. So these are Dell do dollars, brackets, and such things are called Dell miters whether they are matched or not. So I can do a slow check. It will slowly check. Yes, everything is okay. It doesn't say any mistake at all. Okay. So this can be used. And now this thing, you can take it, copy, and you can take it online. Because you, if you have not installed it, you can take it online and you can paste it on your online thing. You can paste it here, right? Title calculus. But I have already had a title here, so let me not. Uh, again, I just calculus and recompile. See, it has done calculus summation, so that has come here. So this uh, editor, which is you can download and it is can be used offline. To uh, so let me. Uh, show you what I'm showing. Where is that editor here? So this can be used and it's very useful in the sense that it is, it gives you a lot of help. It tells you Greek letters. For example, if you want to type uh, gamma somewhere, it gives you the code for gamma. If you want to type beta, it will give you beta. Okay. All Greek are available. Uh, other symbols, there are a lot of symbols available which you can commands. You click on that picture and you'll get the command. For example, this is saying something is correct or not correct. So this is a third. Yes. Okay. This is, for example, correct check mark kind of a thing. And uh, for example, this one is spade suit. It will print this kind of a thing. Then there are typeface. Bold, emphasize, Roman, okay, and then there are functions. All functions are listed here. For example, if you want cot, so let me just go below and say cos. It says this is cos, this is log, and this is sine hyperbolic, and so on. So all the commands are available in this editor very easily. Okay, yeah, I just want to show you something more. Symbols like minus, plus, plus, minus, division, and such things are available, okay? And then brackets, all kinds of symbols are there. There are symbols developed by American Mathematical Society. They are available here. The AMS symbols are here. AMS, not, something is not in something, not plus, not minus, and such things are available. So this is a offline editor, WinEdit. 
uh, if you want to buy it costs something for students and uh, teachers which is very cheap but uh, you can do it this way do it check check everything is okay and then put it online that is another way of doing it so i think uh, time has come to say stop here this exercise that i have given you uh, please try to typeset it completely and if you find any difficulty anywhere okay or if you want a latex source code also we will give you later on but first you should try i think from my side i have finished if anybody wants to ask shall i stop sharing screen yes sure stop sharing okay so i have stopped sharing uh, now is floor is open for question answers doubts clarifications suggestions whatever you want to do sir i have one question yeah please uh, shatapti ma'am asked the same question uh, and uh, i faced the same problem while uh, uh, i am typing in latin sometimes the images do not appear below the sentence where we want it what to write in Slash include graphics so that the image can appear exactly where I want. Uh, include graphics normally positioning is a bit difficult. You can do it in center and center. That will bring it in the center of the page, right? That is one possibility. Um, there is a possibility of using on one side picture, right side text. If you want to do that. we have to go to the mini page split the page into two parts on one side picture other side text that is mini page that is a possibility okay so that kind of things are possible right but exactly saying ke us corner mein jaye ya is corner mein jaye that is slightly possible but takes more time how to do that kind see what you can do is you can always add uh, h space and v space before the picture if you want to go it it to go down then you say v space 1 inch 2 inch whatever it is it will go down minus space will pull it up h space will push it to the right or left Plus. so these are the kind of things you can do Uh, so uh, thank you so much sir for giving us the time from your very very busy schedule very tight schedule and uh, no doubt it, it was a wonderful session you explained everything very uh, practically and uh, everybody i think enjoyed and uh, you answered each and every question so thank you so much for being with us thank you I sir can, i can still spare 2 minutes for more questions if there are any from the <laughs> audience not from you any what uh, ask and uh, i think uh, my email address you can share in case they need some help the latex type setting right personally or professionally i can give them the links so send me a email on my email id this is reasonably simple to remember i k r a n a i k r a n a At the rate gmail dot com. Sure. Yeah. So you can send it mail and then if you any kind of help you need in LaTeX, let me know. No more questions. Then uh, thank you very much for Proful for uh, coordinating, Tarun for inviting, and uh, everybody for coming over and listening to me. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you. Uh, you want to take a picture of snapshot of the, all the participants? Yes, sir. Wait. Everybody, switch on your cameras. Those who are present, please switch on your cameras. Hello, switch on quickly, 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 so that somebody can click uh, the screenshot. Yes, I'm getting. I'm not going to do the screenshot. Uh, Tarun or uh, Purple. Either of you can do it. Yes. Yeah.
Yes, sir. I'm, I'm taking it. Okay. It's done, sir. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Everybody take care and have a nice day. Good news, sir. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye, sir. So, participants, uh, we will meet tomorrow again at the same time, 12.30. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Thank you.